And today we're gonna make kueh lapis sagu. The ingredients you need are coconut milk, sea salt, rock sugar, rice flour, tapioca flour, some pandan leaves, and pandan extract. So the first thing you do is uh, pour the entire can of coconut milk and mix it with about 90 to 100 grams of rock sugar and also the pandan leaves. Bring it to boil until the rock sugar is completely dissolved in the uh, coconut milk. So about 10 minutes later, it is all nicely done. Now we are ready to mix the flour together. That's 80 grams of tapioca flour and 75 grams of rice flour with a little bit of salt, just a pinch of salt. Mix it well. And next, we add the coconut milk, which is boiled with the rock sugar into the flour. And continue to thoroughly mix that together. And after mixing it well, we are ready to strain it. Next, we pour about half of the mixture. Now we are ready to add the uh, pandan colouring. Most of the time when you buy from the store outside, they have red and green and white colouring. Uh, we don't like to use colouring, so we are using the pandan essence. We are almost ready to steam the cake, but first we need to add some oil to the baking pan, to the steaming pan. And uh, just put a dab of oil, use a tissue paper to wipe it, so it's just a very thin layer. Now we uh, pre-steam the steaming tray, just to heat it up. After about a minute, we are ready to uh, put the green layer at the bottom. Just a thin layer, enough to cover this 8.5 by 4 inch tray. And cover it up to steam. And after about 2-3 to three minutes, we are at the white layer. So another about 3 minutes later, we are ready to add the uh, green layer. So you repeat this process until all the uh, mixture is uh, finished. And now we are putting in the last layer. So continue steaming this for about 15 minutes at low to medium heat. And there you have it. Kueh Lapis Sagu, a very common snack found all over Southeast Asia.